Hi there. Uh, I want to apologize for the long gap between the last episode reaction and this one, and for the general sporadicness. Um, I've been really busy with this semester and grad school classes and everything, but now that the semester is over, I should be able to go back to getting two out a week, and I'm going to try to get more out a week to make up for the ones that I missed, but uh, I can't totally promise that. But yeah, they will be coming out more frequently, and I apologize for the wait times. Okay, we're back with Season 1, Episode 16 of Veronica Mars, called Betty and Veronica, which, of course, makes me think of Archie and Riverdale and stuff, but, um, it's obviously an older reference to the Archie comics, not the show, but it's just... Anyway, random. Uh, yeah, so last episode was a lot going on. I thought it was a really good episode. Um, found out that Logan's mom is dead, and, um, that was sad. Um, and then he got really drunk. Um, found out that Duncan was Meg's secret admirer, and, um, that's the thing that's happening. He and Veronica still sharing looks at each other, so that might not be over. But they also might be half-siblings. So, you know. Also, she's been snooping on his medical history, which, again, taints any relationship they could have. Um, yeah, uh, what, what else? The, the mob plot was fine. Um, yeah. Alright, let's just get into the next episode. So creepy. What's going on? I want a panda. Or maybe I want him listening. Hmm. False information. Huh. Again, poor panda. Okay. Yeah, the drag name for the mud, so. What did she do this time? Someone stole her mascot? Oh, he wants her to solve a case. Well, I'm not accusing you. I'm asking for your help. Yeah, well, that makes sense. I don't know why she's so surprised. She's known for solving cases. And what do you normally charge for something like this? A lot. <laughs> It'll be our little secret. <laughs> she's gonna tell people, doesn't she? I don't know. Can't follow you, huh? Wait, Polly's an actual oh, bird? They're pronouncing it different? But his last name is just fennel, like the plant, right? That's kind of creepy. Anyway, it looks great. Awkward. And ruin the sanctity of our lunch duo? You know that'll send me crying back. <laughs> Coming up. Are they just breaking up? Uh, that's not really true. If you're a pretty blonde girl, maybe. I'm Betty. Yeah. So you <laughs> Riverdale. <laughs> Riverdale. That's nice. Oh. We were in a hotel room at the Wow, okay. Gross, but okay. <laughs> She's, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, that's a big one. You tell me if there was a problem, right? I tell you everything. No, you don't. There are some things you're better off not knowing. Yeah. She felt you up now. She was his half sister. So from breaking up with her half brother? That's what I'm told. <laughs> That's what you're told. Oh my god, they killed their goat? I hope they didn't really. I just walked into the school like I was a student there. Nobody even asked me anything. That's so brave. Can't believe that worked. Can't. Four o'clock. Late. 
Wow. She is playing in like a fiddle. Who's she talking to? Correct. <laughs> in my high school did anyone steal a mascot. Also, we did not have live animal mascots. Police kidnapping is more than just a juvenile school prank. It is an act of terrorism. <laughs> Wait, what? 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 That, those questions are not appropriate. These are sticker dogs. She's the one who's been making my spirit boxes? Uh, oh. I used to be on Pep's blog, remember? <sighs> you think all this stuff is stupid? You don't. Hey, you wanna open your locker tomorrow and find an empty box? That's so sweet that she's been making them for him. Snicker dogs are good. I like making snicker doodles. We don't usually have to stay at the Neptune Grand. Special occasion. Um, you remember what was on TV that That doesn't line up. We weren't watching TV. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, these are Duncan's parents, Mr. and Mrs. King. <laughs> well, Enjoy. Oh, she's already meeting the parents, huh? It has not been that long. Cute. He's still too old for you. What? It's <gasps> big for you, please! What? Do I look that smart? I'm just a simple cookie. Mm -hmm. I got both sides of the invisible hello, my name is sticker. How much money did you make betting against your own team last year? Oh. Isn't that like breaking an egg? No. Good. Cheering him on. Let's hope it's worth it. Wait, what did she do with it? I can keep this on my own. There's 12 weeks in here. Oh. Oh, God. She spent all her college money on that? Oh, come on. Now she's not going to get to go to college? That's not. Her mom should be providing but not taking a lot of money. Abel Coons has a daughter? Yeah, kind of figured it was going to be something like that. Okay, looks like based on the next episode title, that was going to be really involved in the season-long plot. Alright, this is an interesting episode in that um, it didn't follow up on something from last episode, namely the whole thing with Logan and his mom being dead. There's something to do that, where it like, has an episode and then it'll like not pick up on it for, like, it'll skip an episode before picking up on a plot. I don't know why it would do that. Maybe actor availability. Um, yeah, weird that Meg already is meeting Duncan's parents after we only saw them go on their first date in the last episode, but... um. Yeah, decent investigation on the main murder plot, um, I guess, um, with the Lilia's murder, um, and the files. Sucks that Veronica spent all her college money on her mom, like, that's, but I guess, I guess, you know, that was her choice, um, I don't 
like that she's keeping secrets from her dad. That's probably not gonna end well. Uh, yeah. I guess that's that. Um, yeah. So, you know, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy the reaction. I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. Bye.